Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. I'm just, I'm just getting ready because of the fact that I know some bad shizzle's about to happen. Hey, what's up guys? This is Matt, your community manager. I wanted to let you know about stuff you're missing out on on Discord by not being a patron. If you're a $5 and up patron every week, about an hour on Wednesday, we hang out with you. We sometimes will watch a short video or two. And if community day is not enough for you, if you sign up at the $10 tier, you get access to patron day. That is every Thursday, we hang out for about an hour playing games, and then we just watch shows for the next three hours. We've been watching Konosuba, Mob Psycho, Doctor Who, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It would be a lot of more fun if more of you were showing up. So I really hope you consider signing up to the Patreon and joining the Discord. Hello everybody and welcome back to All Ages of Geeks, a YouTube channel. My name is Kat from allagesofgeek.com, the geek culture website that covers everything, well, geeky. And today, it looks like there's a brand new Ruby trailer that just dropped. And I can't wait to analyze the fuck out of this. <laughs> because here's the thing, we are doing Ruby Volume 8 reactions. I, I don't know what to expect. I mean, the last trailer gave us a little bit of a a little bit of a taste, but I'm wondering if this trailer is going to give us anything even more. Um, um, it looks like based on the Twitter video that I'm on the official Ruby, like, uh, which we called Twitter, it looks like, uh, Salem is in the trailer. So I'm, ex I'm excited for that because even though Salem has caused some mayhem, a lot of bad shit to happen. I personally do like Salem because of with her backstory and everything. She's a very interesting character. Um, and I liked, I actually made a post, which I'll link in the, um, description, like kind of dissecting her character in a sense, which I definitely want to do more, um, posts like that before on LHG, because again, it's like dissecting certain characters from fictional works is like a hobby of mine. As you know, I analyze the fuck out of everything, but yeah, uh, just to let you guys know that you will be getting early access to Ruby volume eight reactions over on our Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash all ages of geek. Um, you guys write one, cause again, it's right around the corner. You'll be getting a week early access compared to everyone else. The first episode, you'll get a few hours early access before we get that up onto the um, channel. And you guys can also access a lot of other fun, um, patron only exclusive content and also be able to get, um, reactions much faster over on Patreon. And then they, they all do post onto um, which we'll call onto the channel just to address a few things because there have been a few questions about this before a lot of the content we actually had to remove um, when it comes to Ruby volume of I think it was five through seven one there was a lot of glitches and two there is a major copyright change happening in 2021 um, just to let you guys know which I will help out any fellow reactor peers uh, that might be within the community. Um, there was, and even Crunchyroll wrote an article about this, we covered this. There is a big change that's coming up in 2021, especially for animation. Um, that, it's not just anime, but there's a lot changing come January 2021. And I will link you guys to that article that shows a lot of the changes that need to be made. Um, and this is what we have been t like discussing. So if any of our mods have responded to you with information like that, um, it's because of the fact that it is true information and reliable sources are talking about it. So I will link you guys to that article and also the article that we cover to help any reactor peers out who may need the, to actually change their content. I just want to address that because we've actually addressed this several times um, a lot in the past. Um, we made it on our website. We've done it on social media. We've also made an update video about this on the channel. So hopefully you guys who've had the questions before, hopefully this does answer your concerns um, because again, we just want to respect everything that is changing going forward. And we want to also be able to help anyone out in the community that might also have the same issues um, that who might not also be able to learn how to actually change change up their content but again this is just coming from reliable sources that again I will link in the description down below and a big thanks to our mods who have been doing such wonderful work to be able to respond to those questions the shout out to Jack shout out to Chase and shout out to Gray and also to Matt who is managing the entirety of the community also my shirt says destiny because shut up Felix <laughs> If you're watching this, Felix, I swear to God. All right, so let's get started. In a three, and a two, and a three, two. Oh, my queen! Oh, shit. Oh! What? Oh, my 
my god, Cinder! Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? Punching! Oh god, why Tyrion? Why? Oh no. Oh, that is really cool. Oh, Penny. Nora's got... Oh god, here goes Ironwood. Stop. Are you fucking shitting me? It's not done yet. Oh! Oh! Hi. Oh, great! 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 Hi! Him? Oh, no. Yeah. Great. It looks as if, and even the tone of Ironwood's voice, it sounds like he's literally about to break. I mean, you can only guess based on the last trailer, but also even if you rewatch Volume 7, um, when it comes to Ironwood in general, he is a very, very complicated character. And like I said in my last review on this, the man needs to go to a fucking spa. Because this man has been through a lot, but also he is in no place to be giving any type of orders right now. Uh, because right now, if he does, bad shit's gonna happen. So, he's de basically, Atlas is gonna fall. There's no doubt about it that it's gonna fall. But it's even really scarier to know that Cinder's just watching the whole thing. I mean, you see her from a distance. I don't know how... I think this is going to mainly focus mainly on Salem, but I don't know how much involvement we're going to see of Cinder because as of right now, she's basically just watching from a distance. Uh, but holy shit, guys. I mean, so to know that it's kind of narrated... Oh my God, that scared the shit out of me. That just fell. That scared the shit out of me. What the fuck? To know that it's even narrated by Salem, um, that's even scary to even know. I mean, we're going to have a lot of problems with everybody, but I also think we're going to have like a major Nora focus... Um, cause it looks like she's like having these power ups and everything. So I'm wondering what that's going to be about, who she's actually versing. There's a lot of punching, you know, everyone's just punching each other. You know, you can't blame them. I mean, Alice is basically falling. This is going to be like more like of an apocalyptic event type of season. So of course there's going to be some fucking punching. You know, you need to release your stress somehow. And the other thing too is like to even know that Tyrion's back. It's like, great, we know what kind of damage he can do. I'm also going to think with the punching, there's going to probably be a lot of torture scenes. So that's just going to be, that's just going to be great to know. Um, and also it's just, it's overall, it's going to be more of the, oh, this is happening within the next two days or so. It's going to be stress because usually Ruby takes on like a few, like even like, Jesus, it's fucking falling. What is happening? It has a mind of its own. Um, it usually takes a pl like place over like a course of a few days. So like to know that it's just two days and to know that Salem's already doing this much damage and to know that she's in the search for somebody, which I'm going to guess it might be, you know, Ozpin, but it might be Oscar. It might be like, who is she saying? The one that might know how. It's got to be Ozpin, but, you know, Oscar, does she, like, you know, with Oscar in general, is, she, is he going to have some kind of confrontation with Salem? I personally do like Salem. I mean, like, again, like I said before, what she's done is fucked up, but I think she's a very well-written villain, um, and I think that she pisses a lot of people off, but I feel like there's a lot to explore with her character. Um, as of, we see, Cinder's basically just bowing before her, because Cinder is just crazy and hungry for power. You know, I don't know, I don't know what you guys think about Cinder ever getting um, a redemption arc, but where it stands, I, I feel like there is, it's slowly starting to see that there might not be a redemption arc, because right now she's just hungry for power and is willing to do anything for it. But hey, my friends, that was my review on the next Ruby Volume 8 trailer. They've been dropping a lot of, like, hype-up stuff. It's coming out November 7th, um, so we're definitely going to be doing reactions to it um, the day it does come out. Um, I'm really excited for it, um, and I can't wait to know what you guys have to think about it. As, as always, we want to hear from you. Um, and again, as what we talked about before, I'll leave you the links in the description where you can find out all that information um, and all the stuff that will be changing and going on within 2021. Um, for me, I just want to be able to help as many reactors as much as possible. Um, and again, big thank you to our moderators and our team for handling a lot of the, um, the questions and answering a lot of the questions for you guys. Um, but yeah, again, we can't wait to hear from you guys. We can't wait to hear what you think about the volume overall. If you don't like the volume, your opinions are welcome here. If you love the volume of course your opinions are welcome here 
critiques are very important. Um, and again, even when it comes to loving a series, not liking a series, everyone's opinions are valid and everyone's opinion should be respected so long as they are also respectful. But anyway, friends, I hope you have an amazing day. Stay weird, just do one of these awesome. So looks video and brush your finger, fan by fan person every single day. Bye guys. Hey classmates, before we actually do dismiss class, I have some things I want to say as the credits play down below. Um, so just to let you guys know, yeah. Um, this is the outro! Fantastic! So thank you so much for watching this episode here at All Ages Geek Academy. We really truly do appreciate it. Uh, we love uh, like analyzing series, reacting to series, and really adding more to the reactions. As you guys know, I love to fucking talk a lot. But also, as you see, my book of wonders here. We have a lot to discuss and a lot to review together. So if you really love what we're doing, you want more like analytical type of content to analyze every single anime known to man, is that gonna happen? Possibly every episode, oh my God. Be sure to check out our Patreon page where you guys can get access to our Discord server, hang out with us, and we have a lot of events that go on there too. Like usually we have community days on Wednesdays, which is like an hour, two hours usually. We play games together. And then we also, on Thursdays, we have a five hour event every single Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Eastern time to 10 p.m. at night where we all talk, we all hang out, we geek out together, we play all these great games, um, and it's a lot of fun. We also watch anime and shows together, a lot of anime that doesn't necessarily have to actually be um, immersed within. So if you want to take part in that and hang out with an amazing, crazy squad, um, be sure to. Here's a few clips from some of our previous Patreon days if you guys want to see the craziness. I'm innocent! Yeah, I'm Cat! I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stick with the attack because we feel like Okay, can everybody, <laughs> stay away from Cat. She will open fire. <laughs> I just saw that <laughs> I'm not even I'm not even sure if Cat's innocent or not. I don't know why, but it was just so like abrupt. I'm like I am thou, and thou art I. <laughs> My leg! That was a real death. Hey, what's up? That was a real death. Ding, bro, that was crazy. I thought, I thought, it, I thought that was pretty slick. Trump jumping down there and Yay! I did it! Oh, the terrorists! Yeah. The terrorists win! I did a thing! I'm the mustard. Evan, Wait. The mustard. Oh, you are the mustard. We're playing prop right now? Is that a thing? But yeah, there's a lot of events that go on, and also if you want to check out more episodes, I don't know where I'm pointing, but should be on one of these sides. Um, be sure to click one of those and check out another playlist where you guys can, you know, if you love this type of series, you can find another series that you know and love. But yeah, just to let you guys know, we love you, we appreciate you, we're happy you're here, and we're happy you're part of the freaking All Ages of Geek Academy. So I hope you can see you guys in the next video. You have an amazing day, and as always, my friends, embrace your inner fangirl, and you're the fanboy, and you're a fan person, oh, every single day.